Hello friends, welcome to this brand new episode of Tech Magic on Rose Up TV. In this episode, I am going to teach you how to install Windows 7 uh, from a bootable USB drive that I taught you in my earlier video. If you haven't watched it, watch it first. How to create a bootable USB disk. I am going to install Windows 7 on this laptop. So first, let us learn how to go enter the BIOS in a laptop. A BIOS is a small utility that you see when you boot up your uh, laptop. This is a Dell laptop so you can now see the BIOS. Keep your fingers ready on Dell F2 or F12. In this laptop it is F12. So you will get the list of bootable drives on this laptop. Here you can see USB storage device, enter HDD. USB storage device, the first highlighted one is a bootable disk. So enter. You can see the setup is loading the files. Remember that uh, when you are installing OS for the first time, uh, the hard disk would be empty and you have to make partition. As of now, this uh, already this uh, laptop contains the OS. I am going to reformat it. So you will lose the data which is in your C drive. So always remember to take backup. First click next. Install now. Here there is an important thing that you should note. You should know whether your laptop is 62 bit, uh, is 64 bit or 32 bit. Here the laptop is 64 bit laptop. Uh, in my next video, I'll teach you what is the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit and what is a BIOS. In this laptop, it is a 64 bit, so I am choosing X64. The X86 stands for 32 bit, and the X64 stands for 64 bit laptop. So I am clicking next, accept the terms and conditions, next, here we are going to do it in a custom way, now see here I am going to divide this hard disk into various partitions, previously I deleted all the partitions. Now I have to create a new partition here after deleting it. I have to specify the uh, uh, capacity of each partition in MB. So I am going to have the C drive with 50 GB gigabytes of space. So I will type up approximately 54-53,000 MB. Because each gigabyte consists of 1024 megabytes, so I am going to have a C partition with at least 53,050 gigabytes of memory. So uh, now I am going to apply. See, this is now partition has been created. Now I have another unallocated space. The rest I am going to uh, leave it as. Uh, leave it as assets so I'm creating a new one it will become uh, probably partition D now I have to select on which partition I'm going to install the OS I'm going to install the OS on partition 2 because that has the 53 gigabytes now the setup will continue automatically
now your computer will restart automatically so when the computer shuts down you have to remove your usb drive immediately that is the bootable pen drive immediately now see i have removed the my pen drive now the system will start automatically and it will boot into the setup see now the setup is almost completed Now we have successfully installed Windows 7 on it, but still there is a lot of work to do. You have to install the device drivers to this PC. Drivers are basically the software which enable the operating system to access various hardware like the display driver, like the chip, main chip board, that is the motherboard drivers, uh, chipset drivers. For example, if you have Wi-Fi card in your... Uh, uh, for it to work perfectly, you have to install the Wi-Fi driver to it. You have to get the drivers from another system by checking up the manufacturer's website and getting those right drivers for the system. So guys, we have finished uh, installing Windows on the system. So please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.